Welcome back guys to another episode of Mighty Race Garage. Uh, today I want to show you all the dirty rat. For the all-terrain lawn tractor build-off, it is considered complete because it runs, drives, and meets the criteria to be complete for the ATLTF build-off. So let me uh, bring you in and let's take a look at the, uh, the tractor. talk about some specifics here you can see that this is not a 633 this tractor was originally equipped with a hydro gear rear end so I did not have a 633 but I did have a peerless 2300 out in the shed so I put that in there after that hydro died and got it all bolted up and working great as you can see in there, it uh, went in pretty easily. It's got a slide offset. The brake works using the standard clutch brake pedal. I'm running a four inch drive pulley and the belt guide bracket going up attaches uh, one of the four points to attach the transaxle on. The other one's over here by the uh, brake. Right now, it uh, I got it set a little wide. I could probably bring it in a good, a uh, good two inches over there, or maybe three over there. But I do have an offset because I had to put the transmission in just a hair to the left to fit the drive pulley. The Sears is a little bit narrower frame. Since this was a hydro, I did have to cut in a hole for the gear shifter. I also shortened the shifter quite a bit or it would have came all the way up to about right here. But I didn't want way up there, I wanted it down there like a Sears normally is. As I paint around, I've got a uh, tack works pretty well it's also an hour meter as you can see right now it's got 0.3 hours on it if I can get the light glare out of it up here have a voltmeter when the ignition's on it shows how many volts it is right now it's sitting at 12.2 this is also a USB port Two of them, 3.0. I have uh, upgraded the headlights to PAR 36 LEDs. They're super bright. I'll show you a little snippet of how bright they are right about now. Next I'll show you, I've put uh, SunF uh, dirt tires on it. They're not the uh, mud tires, but they are dirt track style tires, both rear and the front. 
Also, if you notice, the Sears frame actually stops right about where that drag link is, or tie rod is, right there. I have extended it from there out to there and moved the front axle about eight inches. Custom foot throttle. Works pretty well. As you've seen in the nighttime intro there, I revved it. Running a uh, motorcycle and muffler. Stainless steel. Goes into a uh, 90 degree bend of some conduit. Into a Y collector that I built using a ram head style uh, shape. You get those going here. There, you can see that better now. I did modify the air breather. This is the standard Briggs air breather. I traced out the bottom of the air box around the filter and I cleaned up and cut that circle out this is just the standard uh, top of breather holder for the Briggs Airbox. I uh, cleaned up, regasketed re the uh, engine. All new gaskets everywhere. Check the uh, the gaps and all that on the valves. They're all good. I did replace the spark plugs with uh, an Iridium spark plug. I'll show you that model number here real quick. Here's that part. It's an Autolite Extreme Start Iridium. They're for uh, your lawn and garden tractor. As you can see, it does have an Iridium tip to it, if you can see that. But there's the part. They run about six dollars, or they did when I bought them. Custom paint job all over the tractor, complete with a uh, flag hood. Always wanted to do that, and finally got around to it. Got a little horn. I like to add horns to my tractor, so if I have trouble, I can honk at somebody. That one's kind of weak. But we'll see. Custom uh, battery strap, rewired completely. I'm running a seven inch engine pulley. The belt guide on the engine, if you notice, is actually a belt guide for a 633 that I had an extra of. It's a Briggs 18 horse, opposed twin. The tractor is a 1977 Hydro 18. Had a own an engine originally that blew up about four years ago. And like I said, the Hydro transaxle finally gave it up last fall. But there it is. I call it the Dirty Rat. Like I said, right now it's complete as of the All Terrain Lawn Tractor Forum build off 2022 build off completion status. But uh, I'm probably going to continue doing a little tweak here and there. Um, debating on changing this hook, this uh, horn, into an Uga style horn. I'm not sure yet. See which one's louder. But, uh, and there's the. LED PAR 36 headlights. They work great. No trouble. Doesn't matter which side is positive or negative on these LEDs. I think they're internal uh, wired to take either way. But there you have it.